Well, this is it, the end. The last of the line, the end of the breed, the full stop on 37 years of Australian made Commodores. The VF Series 2, the fastest, most powerful car that Holden has ever produced. So, has it saved the best for last? The updated range includes a number of key revisions across the family, starting with additional features in the lower grade V6 models. There's minor styling updates to the sport wagon, which finally gets new look LED tail lights. But the biggest changes have been reserved for the high performance variants, with the adoption of a larger 6.2 litre V8 that makes it the fastest and most powerful Commodore ever. Available in the luxury focused Calais, the popular SS and the flagship SSV Redline we're here to test. It represents a cultural change for Holden, as it recognises the Commodore's heartland is no longer as relevant to mum and dad family transport as it is to sending its Aussie developed sedan off as a genuine muscle car. More than just eking out extra performance, Holden invested heavily in making the V8 sound like a genuine V8. While the noise is better from within the cabin, here's proof of the difference. We put a previous generation 6 litre V8 powered SSV ute up against a latest VF Series 2 in a back-to-back -back burnout test and, well, listen to this. After a decade of trying to improve fuel consumption across the board, Holden has given up and just wanted to make the best Commodore it could, as the LS3 misses out on the cylinder deactivation technology previously available in the 6 litre, resulting in a claimed average consumption of 12.9 litres per 100 k's. But this car is all about grunt and it's all about emotion because under the bonnet lies an even bigger engine, 6.2 litre LS3 V8. It was previously exclusive only to HSV, and in that guise it produced up to 340 kilowatts. While producing less power than the HSV at 304 kilowatts, this car is still a handful and can still be provoked into tyre frying slides. But this isn't just about the numbers. Holden has really tried to tug on the heartstrings of those performance car fans with even more emotion. It's made a hell of a lot of effort in not only making the power and the grunt that it needs, but also the sound that a V8 should. The last car was a little bit criticised for being too soft and too quiet. You can't say it about this one. It has a bimodal exhaust system which allows it to just cruise along effortlessly like this to the nice little V8 burble in the background. But when you really want it to, listen to that. It just opens its lungs with this guttural roar. Beyond the engine there are some general refinements as well. The rear suspension has been modified to handle the extra power, but it's also a little bit softer in its damping, so it gives a bit more compliance over the bumps and a little bit more traction under acceleration. The steering on this car is still brilliant. For a big heavy car, it feels really solid on the road and quite sharp when you really want it to be. The brakes are strong, the seats are a bit wide, they don't offer that much support, and the rest of the package is just as it was. You know, the Commodore VF upgrade was absolutely the best Australian built car. The interior, the technology, the comfort, everything about this car really signifies the strength of Holton, its design team, its engineering team, and what it has tried to do to keep this car relevant for Australian consumers. This one, they've narrowed the niche down to those really performance orientated car customers, and they've absolutely nailed it. It's a brilliant, brilliant machine. There's certainly nothing else bang for your bucks that you can get with this much grunt, this much fun, 
and this much slide ability. It's awesome. Growing up on muscle cars, the legend of Bathurst created big, powerful Australian cars. It's going to be a shame to see this kind of car leave our shores, but I'm absolutely certain that it leaves on a high note. Well, the Commodore definitely goes out with a bang, and a crackle, and a pop. This is a genuine muscle car, and it is bound to be a collector's car of the future.